right, welcome back. Um, we're at Dixie RV today. We're looking at some different models. We looked at some yesterday. Uh, we looked at some, um, oh, what were they? Jayco's. We looked at some Jayco's yesterday. Uh, we also looked at some uh, at a couple of Montanas yesterday. Well, today we're looking at a, at, a, at a Volano. It's made by Tiffin. Uh, this is actually the first Tiffin unit that we've been in. The, uh, so we're going to start here on the back and we'll work our way around to the front door the, uh, or the main entryway. As you can see, it's got the ladder up the back, square bumper, pretty standard on most of them. It does have the, uh, which I've seen this on a lot of the units now, it's the uh, power reel. It's got the, the, the power reel for the, uh, for the electrical connection. A huge, huge slide. This unit only has three slides. Uh, it has opposing slides in the uh, kitchen and living area, and uh, one slide in the uh, in the bedroom. We'll see it in a few minutes. Uh, it has a access for the back of the uh, refrigerator, so you won't have to pull your refrigerator out to do the maintenance on the uh, on this part of it. So you have access to it that way. Um, your vents for your hot water heater and. and uh, and everything. It has one sewage connection, which I'm a big fan of, because it's less hoses, less mess. One hook up and you're done. Uh, now this is the first unit that we have seen or looked at that had the, uh, the easy valve system. So instead of having the valves either in here or under the unit that you'd have to squat down and, and pull the, the valve, this is just a button, and it opens and closes the valve just with the push of a button. Um, and then this one's a little bit unique. Instead of having the uh, the keys like we've seen on some of the other units, this has just got valves, and you just you put the knob where you want it and arrange it that way. Water filtration system, um, outside uh, shower, tank flush, pretty standard. Light in there, too. It does have a light inside. Um, and there is also a valve out here for your ice maker. So you're not getting ice if you have, you know, you may want to make sure you don't have Conserve a your water. valve that's turned off. Or if you don't want to make ice, you can turn your water off too. Um, huge, huge front storage. Let me get uh, that. Pass through storage. Are you standing by it? It oh, shows how big it is. I mean, huge pass through storage. <laughs> uh, this is probably the largest pass-through storage bay we've seen on a, on a unit. Yeah. Um, solid floors. Uh, access walls. You can see it's aluminum construction on it. It's lighted. Um, I'm hoping that it... Yes. You'll see on the other side it does. It is a, a heated underbelly. Propane tank. Um, they're, that's standard on them anyway, but uh, you can see here it's the hydraulic uh, lifts. The, the lift controls in the doors are uh, magnetized, so there's no having to hook up uh, something up to hold the door open. Slam shut. Uh, even in the front, under the tongue. large storage um, and I'm sure you could put a generator you could put a generator prep kit in here for a generator or you could just use it for extra storage for whatever you would need this one is the only one that has the uh, the little um, deal to hold the door open yeah has the rotoflex trail air pin box The opposing gas bottle. What, what size are those? Uh, those are they're either seven or ten gallon. Hmm. Okay. I believe. Um, it is the heated and cooled underbelly here. The uh, the tanks 
are um, are heated for full winterization. Uh, Dark Devil um, Central Vac system. Your cable TV hookups. Holder for your tool. Another opposing huge slide has the awning on the mounted on the slide and another awning here. Oh, that's one of the things I see right there. And I don't yeah, really like. it's over the slide. I'm not a fan of the awnings coming out over the top of the slides, just because if you're in an area that kind of gets a little bit windy, you do take a chance of uh, of your awning touching the corner. And I haven't seen this one out, so I don't know how much space you have, but. I did see one that was right really close, so you took a chance of of uh, the corner of your slide rubbing a hole in the in the awning. If you get toppers, it will help that a little bit, though. The awning toppers on the slide. Oh, really? It will help it a little bit, yeah. The solid step, and these are the one finger, but they don't stay up. Uh -oh. um, like some of the models we've seen, you could let go and they would stay whatever position you left them in, they would stay. These do um, not. These are a little bit, and these are a little bit heavier because they're not power, they're not assisted on the lift, but they're not that heavy. Wonder if it could be added. Uh, probably so. No. He don't know. Okay. But they are sturdy. They are some sturdy steps. Um, they're very, very good. This unit here has probably has the most storage in the kitchen that we have we have seen in one of these yet. Um, uh, when we first stepped into this tribe, into this unit, uh, we immediately fell in love with the uh, the amount of storage and the amenities that it had. Um, so we'll start we'll start here. The table, freestanding chairs. There's uh, two more. There's two more under the under the belly stores there. Um, fairly large. Fairly large table. It's not very wide, but it is a fairly large table. Well, that gives you room to get out in and out uh, easier. Very comfortable recliners for the theater seating. They are straight across from the TV. Uh, lots of storage over them. I mean, that's lots of storage. Uh, <laughs> even inside the living room, there's a lot of storage. Um, these seats are power. I just seen the buttons on those. Um, There's power there too. Yeah. All kinds this of power. For, uh, looks like reading lights and stuff. That's what mm -hmm. that's for. Them lights uh, up there probably. Even above the couch here, at the, at the, on the back end of the unit, more storage. I mean, it's kind of you'd have to have a, a step stool even for me. But you know, it's it's there for storage. So stuff that you wouldn't you wouldn't need every day. Tax uh, pile. And <laughs> what, you know, whatever you could. You, I'm sure you could think of something to put up there. Um, uh, a, a safe or whatever you might could put a safe up there. Because just just for the fact that it's hard to reach. So as you can see, even all the way across the back of the unit is. Uh, Still got big windows, even though. And still got big windows. Uh, lots of windows. Entertainment. The furnace here. Huge. Huge drawers. I mean, huge drawers. But plenty of movies in there. Now, the only thing that I did see on this unit that, I, that, I, that I've seen on others that I don't like about this one is it does not have the ease soft. shut or the soft shut. You, you know, it's... It is what it is. But you might could have that, you know, upgraded to this unit. Um, big storage on the center cabinets, your radio for your entertainment. You still got storage above it. You have storage above it. You have storage on either side. Of it. And substantial. Lots of movies could go there. Sound bar, large TV. One of the things that really caught um, Amy's eye was, I think, the other than the amount of storage that was in the kitchen area, is the amount of counter space. I don't think we've ever looked at a unit that had as much counter space. That 
the the island is probably close to eight feet long, almost three foot wide. Um, double 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 bend sink. I mean, plenty of food preparation. Uh, even on this side, even, you know, at least eight foot counter, almost three foot deep here with just, I mean, storage upon storage upon storage. Um, and that's one of the things that we really like about this unit. You know, it's full drawers. They're, they're wood, as you can see there. That is not the, um, that's like what you would have in, in your home. Um, convection oven, the three burner stove. Um, closed stove. It's closed stove. Easier easy to clean. To clean. Um, uh -oh. It's just a tag thing. It does have the round burner in the bottom that mm -hmm. she liked um, before. Storage up under. No. Yeah. Storage yeah, up storage under for, for whatever you would want to put there. Um, on this side of the sink, so on the left hand side of the sink is a huge. I, I don't know what you would do with that. That's in case you want to put a dishwasher there, babe. Yeah, maybe. That's why they did it so big. Uh, Plus, uh, you cannot put every bit of your pots and pans in that one. Yeah, drawer. I mean, if you just if you if you didn't want to do the dishwasher, dishwasher. You, plenty of room for pots and pans. But yeah, that's why they got that so big so you could put the dishwasher there. Um, but, Which is perfect. But for lots, where it's located. And lots of storage. Uh, also, it's got a. Yep. Yeah. In the. You got the 110 outlets in the side. Whisper, whisper quiet ACs throughout. Ceiling fan in the living area. Um, plenty of lighting, LED lighting. What's that thing called? The Max Air? Huh? Is that yes, the Max Air? A, or no, not? That is not the Max Air vent. It, it is sure? not the rain sensing vent. Oh. Is it? Mm -mm. The rain, the rain sensing of the Max Air, uh, however you want to call it. If you look up at the fan, it'll have like an umbrella oh, okay. on it. I've, I've figured that out. <laughs> um, I'm but kidding. storage, you know, and that was the big thing that caught our eye on this unit here. Um, refrigerator, freezer under the bottom. Two drawers. The two drawers, just like the one in the uh, the uh, one of the units we looked at yesterday. I think it was a pinnacle, wasn't it? I think it was a pinnacle. Have that. So huge refrigerator. A lot bigger than what we got in the 27. Uh, pantry. Um, oh, yeah. Don't forget the most important part. I'm going to have to go around. And for out. you ladies, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, huge pantry. Huge pantry. Huge pantry. Spice rack here on the bottom. I'm guessing that's a spice rack or well, whatever. It's just thin, thin shelves here. Well, they um, didn't let any space go to waste. That's for sure. They they tried to use utilize as much space as possible. Um, big, huge, deep compartments here, and then spice rack here. Well, or whatever you want to use it for. Put more usable, more um, used stuff at front. More, more storage here. Coffee bar. Uh, that's the that's your breaker, all your your fuse panel and everything for for the for the unit. That I black like the, I that like, backsplash is pretty. I like the way they hid this. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you a false sense of more storage, but um, with the storage that you have on this unit, you don't really notice that that's mm -mm. that that's an issue. Um, it, so it is a, a good hide. A lot of times you see they, this, you know, either right down here or, or on the side of something. and It's kind of out in the open. But, Those are full. Yeah. These Usable. are full. Every one of these are are probably uh, probably 18 inches by 18 inches by 18 inch cube. So plenty of storage there. There's your central vac. Central vac located here at the steps. Um, there is a, 
the hose attachment for your central vac instead of it being on the receptacle is right here. Um, I wonder why there's not like a little door. I don't know. Covering well, that. That can be fixed. Yeah, that can be fixed. So, moving up into the hallway. You'd think they put a little side or something on it. Um, mm, look at that, the heavy above you. Oh, the antenna? Mm hmm. Um, but, uh, into the into the bathroom, the the uh, what was that? The pinnacle. One? The pinnacle. The pinnacle we looked at yesterday had a real tall ceiling in the uh, in the shower. Uh, as you can see, I'm I'm five five eight five nine something along those lines. So my head is right here, close to the top. So the headroom in here. Is really not what I would like. I, I like the headroom that we had in the pinnacle, um, but there is room in this in this shower. Um, it's all a one piece unit, which is there. which is good. An actual toilet. Um, I guess not like some of the uh, some of the others. Um, drawers. Just like it would be in your in your home, and it has four drawers up under up under the sink. Very large space here, um, and you can get to. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can actually get to your shut off valve for the sink. It actually has one. It actually has a shut off valve for in case you need to work on the faucet here in the sink. And you can actually access your drains instead of having to take panels off and 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 do all that. It's, you just you can get down there and do what you need to do. One tin outlet here, towel rack, uh, medicine cabinet, or for all the ladies, a pretty's cabinet. <laughs> uh, it don't and a stay towel, open. you know, a little linen closet. There. Yeah, showing. I uh, had to get the light right. I would like, I would have liked for this to be a little bit bigger, but it's uh, deep enough. In the, in the one that we're in now, we have a a very large linen closet in our in a trailer Ouch. we're in now, and because of our clothing storage needs, because of how I work and and uh, and all the clothing that we needed, we actually had to use some of this space for our clothes storage instead of a linen closet and it's not working too good so but because we do have so much storage in this unit you're not needing so much as far as mm -hmm. for a linen closet just for towels and washcloths mm. oh it's two-toned in the in the hallway too yeah it? it's got a chair rail chair rail two-toned huh. i didn't notice that now on this side it's not mm -hmm. it's just one thing and the door not a, it's not a pocket door. No, it's a but that door. does have a magnet. It has a magnet. See, that's a magnet right yeah. there. It's pretty substantial. There's a light over the door. Um, now this this bedroom is is fairly unique to some of the others that we've we've looked at. Um, but this is an RV. They're limited on things that they can do. Um, but this one is kind of unique we've not seen one quite set up this way before uh, has a very large mirror full body mirror um, chest of drawers has eight drawers in it that are substantial um, they're deep they're probably eight nine inches deep probably a foot um, Eight or nine inches high, about a foot deep, and uh, maybe two foot wide. So, and every one of them's the and same. And every every one's the same. So it's an eight drawer chest of drawers, which is pretty neat. It does have the TV. We're not ones to watch TV in the bedroom. It's still the quiet air. Whisper quiet yeah. air. Uh, king bed with storage underneath, and this is. Ooh. We didn't look at that. Yeah. Well, hmm. not as not as much storage under here as we like because we do have musical instruments. 
Um, we may have to put them in a different place. Well, we just might have to put those in a different place if we go with this unit. Um, but anyway, but there sit. is storage. You under, could set it right there. Yep, yeah, there is storage under the bed. So, um, and it's uh, you can see it is the assisted lift. So, uh, hubbies, if the wife wants to get under the bed, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> lift the bed for her all the time. You just tell her go get it. <laughs> you don't get to see his muscles anymore. <laughs> um, now this, uh, it's a slide door. Barn door. Barn, barn door. Uh, this is your washer dryer area. Um, can't really see because that window right you there. Can do, you can do stackable or you can do the single. If you do the single, you keep your shelf up top. Which um, is nice. And the one thing that we did like about these Tiffin model is that the um, the wet bay for the washer and dryer prep? They have a, a little cover. I mean, it's it's an elementary stock cover, but if you choose not to have the washer and dryer, you're not looking at the finished. you're not looking at the wet bay. It's a finished wall. So that was one thing we did like about that. And when the door closes, it latches, so there's no. You don't have to put a no tying it down. Tying when it move. down when you travel, it's it locks in. Not another thing to remember. <laughs> um, I have the big windows on the door. Oh, a mirror. Yeah, uh, yeah, mirror. Uh, I don't know now why this one, window. when you travel, it locks up here, so that door locks in pretty good. Uh, uh, and no, then when you get better. to where you're going, so you don't have the little snap like you do on on oh. ours. Um, the entryway for the closet. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tight, but you do have, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, you do have, have shoe storage, um, you have shoe storage here, um, shoe storage there's down, a plug there. In down there, Ooh, there's a plug in, for some reason. you have, now this is one of the things that Amy really didn't like, because it limits how many hangers you can have in here, um, but that may be a good thing. You're not in a. You're not in. You're not in the. You're not in the rich car. You know Says no woman ever. So, uh, <laughs> but you can put two hangers if you choose. You could probably get three, but for sure you could get two hangers on each <laughs> on each of those. Let me so, get a picture of the inside there. Oh, I won't be in the way of the light. Barely see it. But it is. It did wind up being a fairly large closet for a. Yeah, you can't for see a, it. Uh, for a fifth wheel. There's a bigger shelf at the bottom. Oh, now you can see it. I was in the light. See how big that bottom shelf there is? It's a lot bigger. It's probably well. It's almost two foot uh, wide, and as deep as the closet is. So you do have that. And there it is lit. All right. And it does have the full residential king. Um, our sleep number will yeah, go so our, our, uh, you know, our king size sleep number will As long as it's not too tall. So, nice. Nah, we got to make sure right. that. That's it. It has USB ports on both sides. Yep. See it over here too. I don't know about a plug-in over here. I think that's there why there's here. there's not one over here as far as I Oh, nope, there, there it was. It was hid by the door. Oh, there you got that two-tone like in the. Ah, I see that. In the, uh, in the bedroom. closet, in the, I mean, the in hallway the is in here too, and it's a gray bottom with a tan colored and top. And the, the wall of the slide is that same gray colored bottom mm -hmm. on the two-tone. It's pretty. Tone, so. The only place it don't have two-tone is by the window and the door. In here. And you can, this this interior color is but called, you can't really uh, see it. this interior color is called the mocha. Uh, mocha. It? Yeah, it's and the they darkest have, they have. It's the darkest they have. They have another one that is in between um, a real light wood grain color i can't remember the, the name amber of it glaze. i'm what sorry what was it again amber glaze amber glaze and then they have One it's is. a real real orangey um but you can wood see the grain wood real color. good it looks like regular wood and they have one in between those so. So, where do you begin? Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, let's stand over there. That way you can see the whole thing. 
and